with all of that, um, I want to uh, introduce Joe. Joe is known to some of you. He's He's been published in many different, uh, let's see, I have some a wonderful write-up on him. Am I gonna be able to find it? Yep. Okay, Joe's a signature artist, member of the uh, National Watercolor Society. His abstract realism paintings integrate strong design and balance with a sense of illusion and um, and beauty. And in what and he's been in Watercolor Magazine and in the international artist book called The Watercolor Sky and Cloud Techniques of 23 International Artists. So Joe has been featured um, in many different ways. And when you meet him, you'll know he's a as lovely a man as he is an uh, amazing artist. So um, Joe, with that, I'd, I'd like to uh, hand over the hosting to Joe Sabiri. So at six o'clock, we're going to come back and do take a little break, a short break, and do some Wheel of Fortune giveaways, and then be back. Hi, Joe. So uh, I, you can share. Um, are you on mute? Screen. Yes. I'll share my screen. It works. Yay. Everybody can see El Cap, right? Okay. I don't care if you're muted or unmuted, as long as you're um, uh, Coffee maker is it next to the mic <laughs> or whatever. Anyway, hey Joe, one more, Don, one uh, more. Joe and uh, Warna. Joe, what? Joe, before we begin, Joe, would you let people to know that they should sign in in the chat in order to win one of your paintings? Okay, I think you just told them. I think I just did. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and Lorna, uh, just for you, I see Lorna every week, uh, God love her, on uh, Monday. Lorna, visible, Mom? Yeah. There's a lot. Is everybody cool? Okay, yeah. what I'm going to do is uh, share my screen. And uh, what I've got uh, over in the corner here is I've got my setup, which is uh, right next to me. And uh, I have this pad that I... Uh, taped off in eight different uh, quadrants, and I'll show you that. And uh, this is kind of what we're going to be uh, doing. And it's always a fun for a paint along. So this is an 11 by 15, just standard 140 pound cold press paint. It doesn't make any difference what size. This is not about uh, having a final painting. This is just about uh, stuff I have run into, uh, half of this stuff I'm sure you have already done as far as a technique. I ran into a couple of uh, new ones. And then at the bottom, we're going to apply that technique. And then we get to paint uh, using just uh, two colors, uh, cool and a warm. I'm using burnt sienna and ultramarine to keep it simple, especially for uh, this. Uh, uh, kind of stuff. Uh, these are um, what I call imaginary imaginaries. And I had no idea what I was painting when I started these. I just uh, painted wet and wet on the top two thirds and wet on dry and dry on dry on the bottom third. So we'll have fun. We'll paint at least a couple of these at the uh, end. And uh, then I'll show you this one because I blew this one up to uh, 30 by 40. <laughs> because uh, the actual size on this is about seven by five, maybe six by four. It's fairly small. Um, but all the stuff that watercolor gives you, I cannot paint big. The physics of it, the hydrology of it, the granulation, all that other stuff, it won't blow up. Uh, so I'm doing this digitally and I'm doing it with a uh, uh, jacle or um, uh, prints. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of this guy and I'm going to bring this guy up so you'll at least have some kind of a reference. And I'm just going to leave that in the corner. So we're going to go uh, down the list. And a lot of the stuff you guys have done before, this is wet and wet. This is uh, blotting. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, that's a, uh, a dry brush over uh, uh, dried wet on wet so we get some texture. 
Uh, this is adding white gouache. Yes, Sergeant said, I called him before this meeting. Sergeant said that we could use white gouache. So it's okay. He gave, he gave me permission. And uh, this is a uh, sprinkle before you paint. And this is a uh, interesting one because I painted the clouds in clear water and then I painted. And I'm painting the same clouds, the same scene basically in all of these. And this one is just a wet and wet uh, uh, just for a uh, start and then we turn this into this and I find that painting these guys small these are very effective you guys can talk to Lorna see what her experiences are uh, with these but you learn just as much painting these small guys because I could paint eight of them and make them all different uh, in the same amount of time that you might be uh, painting one so I can fail faster, therefore I can learn faster. I love to fail faster. I, I learn a hell of a lot more in a very short amount of time. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go over, I'm gonna go over here. Can you see me? Yep. I'm gonna look at the monitor so I can kind of see, so I can kind of keep this in frame. And I'm going to be using uh, Mr. Gravity, which I, uh, just something to um, tilt the pad so I can um, uh, get watercolor to move. That's the only way watercolor works is if it moves. Otherwise, it just lays there and it's a big puddle. Come on. And unless somebody screams that they can't see, then... Uh, I'm going to squeeze out some fresh paint. And I have a little bit of uh, paint spray. Anyway, uh, we're going to do this. And uh, I'm not going to ask if you're keeping up being recorded. So uh, that'll be, that'll be. Fun. Uh, I can't, oh, there it is. I'm going to use this uh, big uh, brush. This is an inch uh, angled flat. I like painting with flat brushes because I come from the uh, commercial art side. And um, it's easier for me if I'm painting uh, either architectural stuff or product stuff or landscape. And uh, I'm going to come in just a little tighter, see if I can do that. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, all I'm going to do to start with uh, Here's my pad taped off, and here is what I'm going to end up with. I'm going to end up with this uh, sheet, uh, this eight and a, 11 by 15 sheet of, uh, for my reference file. Anyway, all I'm going to do is uh, wet and wet. So there's uh, some water, clear water, and that's a lot of water on there. Wow. And uh, I'm just going to mix up some of this. Uh, I'm using a Cerulean Blue Deep. Uh, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Uh, and I'm going to be painting that uh, top one first. And they're all going to be kind of the same. I'm going to put a little bit there. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit in this corner. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit down here and uh, just let the color, uh, just let the watercolor paint itself. I love watercolor because it does paint itself. As Nita Ingle says, she's the one that taught me how to paint uh, transparent watercolor. So all I'm doing is letting it paint itself. I'm gonna lift a little bit right through there, just with a clean damp brush. And while it's uh, settling, while it's drying, I'm gonna put a little stronger color in this corner, in that corner. And uh, maybe a little bit down here and a little bit here. A couple little uh, sky holes, maybe little stuff happening. Uh, I don't want to go back into this. I, I, I want to keep this. I want to let the watercolor paint itself. I don't want to go try to fix stuff. That is uh, death. Try to fix stuff. And I have to be aware that that page was wet. It had water on it. So... Uh, 
I need more pigment on my brush. I, I, I can't just go like I'm painting on a dry surface. There's going to be too much water in there, right? So uh, anyway, I'm just touching it and I'm letting it paint itself. And uh, I can also, what I just did up there is I can lift a little bit to make, uh, to break up these edges to make it a little bit more uh, real. And I'm just going to lift a little bit over here. Uh, and that's going to end up being fairly realistic when I take the tape off. This next one is going to be similar, but kind of sort of a little different. I'm just going to paint a uh, gradation. I'm going to paint a gradation uh, darker at the top. And then I'm just going to add a little water, put my brush in, dab it off. So now I'm adding a little water, same thing. I'm letting just that, that drift uh, down the page, a little water drift down the page. And that's what the gravity is for. So now it's drifting down the page and that's what's making this move around. So I'm just going to take a, an ordinary Kleenex. This background is great for uh, uh, if you uh, if it's not about the sky. This is more about the sky. This is about a background for a sky, but you want to make it look like a sky. You've all done this before, I'm sure. I'm going to lay that flat, and uh, I'm going to. I have a Kleenex, and I I dipped it in my uh, water jug because I want it to be damp uh, because I want. Uh, I want edges that uh, will be a little bit softer. And I'm going to paint kind of the same way. And you can see that without much effort, that's uh, becoming a quite uh, believable. Let's put it that way. Sky. 568 new cases today. Oh, wow. There's only 300 and something yesterday. And 16 deaths. And, uh, I'll, uh, Somebody gonna... might want to mute themselves. If you're, I'm going to put, uh, you're muted. Wet, I'm gonna put uh, it back on Mr. Gravity and I'm going to paint a little uh, while it's still damp, uh, just uh, for variety. And this is dry down here because I've just blotted it. But I'm going to paint. Uh, I'm going to paint down here and I'm going to just paint it with. Uh, I'm going to add some water if I can get rid of that blue on the brush. <laughs> and now I'm going to uh, blot again. And so it, it actually comes out as a, another layer. I can blot anytime. By the way, I can combine this blotting technique over here. I could, I could blot in here too. If that were a little bit drier, I would. In fact, to, to uh, kind of uh, finish this off, I'm going to add a little bit more blue or value, and I'm just going to blot this edge out so it's uh, nice and uh, soft, so it's believable. So there's an easy way to uh, put in this uh, background. I can also dampen this again. Now I've got uh, uh, clear water on this uh, Kleenex and now I can actually kind of lift by blotting. Anyway, it gives a, it gives a nice uh, believable uh, effect. Okay, we're done with those guys. And you can see that they're similar, but they're different. Similar, but different. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit of color down here just because uh, I want to make it a little more interesting. <laughs> I can't help myself. Every time I say I'm done, I don't believe it. Anyway, I'm going to let it go. Okay, this other one is, uh, this guy's probably pr uh, dry enough by now. So I just want to take a uh, piece of paper and uh, cover cover uh, this first one that we did uh, up a little bit. 
uh, because I want to sprinkle with my spray bottle. I'm going to move this up so you can see the next one. By the way, whatever you want to do later on, you can do. Uh, I don't believe that uh, you have to do it right the first time because I don't. Uh, I, I pretty much know how to fix stuff coming from the illustration uh, business side and it's due at nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to cover this guy up and I'm going to sprinkle. And here's what the sprinkle is going to look like. See those big drops? See those big drops? That's what I want. I want that right here. Okay. And then I'm just going to paint uh, the same sky that I painted right, ab right above it. And we'll see what happens. It's going to be a surprise for me. So here's my uh, here's my corner, <laughs> and uh, here's this guy uh, coming down. And uh, let's put some more paint on here just to see what happens. Lift a little bit of that. Uh, but I'm getting the same kind of sky, except I am getting a different look. I can also, uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm moving this, I'm sprinkling with this. And if you guys can see that, uh, yes, the water's moving around and I'm getting a different, I'm getting a different look to this at the bottom. It's a, it's a slightly more uh, graphic. It's interesting because um, it's, it's similar, but it's different. It's got some hard edges. It's got some soft edges. I'm going to put a little more deeper color right in that corner. And uh, coming back in here, I'm going to uh, put a little deeper color. And one, two, three down in here. And uh, just a couple, I'm just going to touch it and let the water do its thing. Look at it, it's painting itself. Yay! Nita Engel. It's painting itself. Very cool. And uh, I guarantee you when we take the tape off of these, you're going to go, wow, that's, that works. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a water shape. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get. Well, you don't know what you're gonna get with any of it. So uh, what the hey, it's watercolor. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna paint the I'm gonna paint the cloud. This white cloud. I'm gonna paint it with uh, water. Uh, where I see white, I see some white down here. I see some white over here. And uh, let's see what happens. So now I'm just going to paint blue around it. Look at that go. Isn't that cool? Kind of similar to this, but uh, not uh, not really. So I just painted a bunch of water first in that uh, cloud shape, and uh, now I'm just painting the cloud, and uh, I'm lifting a little bit as I'm going along, trying to get kind of the same feel. But it's similar to all the rest, except it's a little bit different. This is a little bit softer. This is a little bit more graphic. And I'm going to uh, put some uh, dark in the corner, corner down here, maybe a little bit right here, some little sky holes, and let it paint itself. Uh, by the way, you can go back at any time. I see something here that I don't like, so I'm going back, and, uh, and then I'm going to wash out some edges. 
just to show you that you don't have to do it right the first time. Uh, I'm going to wash out some edges because I just wanted a little bit more dark there. And I'm not going to get too fussy with it. And I'm going to get in and out. So I think that made, I'm looking at my reference, uh, that made a little bit um, more uh, dramatic, a little bit more powerful uh, sky. As you all know with watercolor, uh, that it's going to dry lighter. Here, I'm blotting. I'm blotting just the way I did over there. Uh, anyway, so now I have four very similar skies. They're all been painted kind of the sort of the same way. Uh, but they all have their own uh, character. They all have their own characteristics. And you could do a combination. I could go back to any one of these and blot now if I wanted to, for instance. If I wanted to... Uh, there, I'm blotting. Wow. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I'm going to paint the same kind of sky that I did up here. I'm going to wet this first. And you may or may not have some of this, but uh, I'm going to use uh, white. Uh, and I'm just going to paint my uh, usual uh, sky. Kind of a cloud in there someplace, and then something happening uh, over here. And uh, I want that to be wet, and I want this to be darker up here and here, and a little bit right through here. And I'm just going to touch it. I'm just going to touch the uh, with my brush. So that's pretty similar to uh, what we uh, painted there. Except I'm going to use my white gouache, and this is uh, Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. It's fabulous from the uh, illustration days. Uh, it will cover up a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to make this actually a little uh, bluer right here. So what this does is it's a combination of uh, transparent and opaque. Uh, watercolor, which I prefer. I think that's the strongest. I'm just going to dip my brush in there and I'm going to uh, just use that uh, white gouache and look at uh, what is happening to it, what it's uh, giving me. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, just touch it and let it uh, kind of explode. So that's the similar, but it's a different look. So that's a combination of transparent and opaque. Or as Don Andrews says, opaque. Uh, this guy, I'm going to uh, just paint a gradated wash on here first. I'm only going to come down about uh, halfway. And uh, I want it a little darker at the top. And I'm just going to let that float down. And I want this to uh, stay kind of pretty light through here. There we go. Now I have to let that dry. So uh, if you guys are uh, putzing, futzing, uh, uh, catching up. Oh, by the way, uh, anybody can holler at me if I'm out of frame. I'm trying to come in tighter on this stuff. Uh, you can holler at me if I'm out of frame. Look at that white uh, gouache is still wet in there. That's pretty interesting. You called that a brigade wash? Is that what I you have no idea. I haven't heard of that. Oh, okay. It must, must have been my ears. Hmm. What, what did you say? Uh, what wash? Oh, the, the even wash, the blended wash on the right hand side. Oh, uh, called it. Gradated. That's all that was. It went from dark to light. Oh, oh. The gradated oh. wash. Gotcha. Okay. That's all. Gotcha. Anyway, uh, I can go back and I can putz with these and we'll yep. see when we take the tape off that, yes, we can. Uh, uh, go back and putts, but it's the technique. That's the reason I wrote wet and wet, blot, sprinkle, water shape, 
gouache, dry on dry, and then this is uh, going to be kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, I got a page full of clouds. Wow. So while I'm waiting for this guy to dry a little bit, I'll do a little house, a little cleanup. This is uh, wet and wet, as I said, that's blot, that's a sprinkle. Uh, this is uh, the water, painting the water shape first, uh, just clear water. Uh, this is with the uh, gouache. And this one is gonna be, uh, there's wet on wet, wet on dry. Uh, and then there's a sprinkle, of course, that's half dry, half wet. And then there's uh, dry on dry. And I love uh, dry on dry. Uh, because I'm just hitting the tops of the bumps, the tops of those hills on the cold press paper. And it gives you that lovely uh, texture or uh, I call it lace or silver kind of stroke that, uh, that sunlight sparkling on the water. Uh, Chien Chung. Which one is that? I'm sorry? Which, which, which one was that? I'm doing just talking about and it's going to be dry on dry. So my uh, brush oh. is going to be a little bit out of frame. Uh, yeah, I'm haven't painted that yet. It's going to be right next to uh, it's going to be this one. So um, Chan Chung Wee, I don't know if you know him or not. He's Taiwan uh, from Taiwan. Uh, he's really a good uh, painter. Uh, watercolorist. Anyway, uh, he uh, paints a lot of dry on dry. So he gets that sparkle. And Lorna is going crazy trying to figure out how he does it. <laughs> anyway, I think this is probably uh, dry enough by now. I can't, if it's cold to my finger, then it's not, it feels dry, but it's not. Paint's not coming off, but it's not. Anyway, I'm gonna to try to get dry paint on my brush. I'm gonna uh, put, uh, I'm gonna move this over. I have some paint here and there's not a lot of water in it. And the reason is because uh, I want to, and I'm just gonna lay this flat. Uh, I want to uh, just hold the brush like this. It's like it's laying on the uh, uh, surface of the table and I just pick it up and that's how I'm going to use it. And all I want to do is uh, see that, see that lacy stroke, see that lacy stroke. That's all I'm trying to, uh, that's really all I'm trying to get is that lacy uh, stroke. And uh, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of difficult sometimes to get that, but uh, you have to, just not kind of care and uh, just uh, go for it. And I'm blotting my brush again and I'm just uh, doing these quick uh, strokes. And I'm gonna use some um, uh, uh, thicker paint uh, so I can uh, come down in here. It's, it would be called stumbling, I guess. Anyway, it's a much more graphic uh, kind of a, a style. I'm just uh, hitting the bumps on the paper. And you can see that it's similar to the other stuff, but uh, it's not. I'm gonna lift a little bit of this to uh, give it a variety. Now I've got some of this uh, uh, I've got some of this uh, darker and uh, dry on dry. And so now I've also got some of this softness, which it makes a really nice bounce. I happen to like this because it's graphic and I like graphic. I'm gonna put in a couple little uh, sky holes here just to uh, touch around with it. And 
that's really, uh, I'm going to lift a little bit here just to bring that up to the top. Or I could blot it, couldn't I? Because I said you could, yeah, I could blot it. But I've got this, this looks different than all the other ones, but it looks very similar. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reveal so then you can actually see uh, what some of this stuff actually looks like without the mess. And then I'll uh, retape it for the bottom. And I'm using this, um, I'll back the camera up a little bit. I'm using uh, this uh, inexpensive, this cheap masking tape that I get off Amazon uh, because uh, I don't want it to stick to too well because it's going to rip the paper and it's a uh, good stuff I also try to pull away from um, the art where it's wet This is just a, uh, these are quick little studies. They're not paintings, they're just studies. And uh, they're for your reference sheet. Uh, so uh, it doesn't make any difference uh, what, the, they're not paintings, so don't go crazy about that. They're just to show you a, a process, a way to do something. So it's just a, technique. That's all it is. So now you can kind of see that we have a bunch of stuff that's similar, but they're different. Yeah. So it's, uh, to me, it's uh, fun. Always exploring, discovering. <laughs> and now I can go back and I can uh, retape this guy. And then, uh, if it's okay, um, if you uh, let me get this down, and then you can take a break if you wanted to, or I'll just finish out this page. However, you want to do it. <coughs> All I'm going to do is. Yeah, uh, we still have. We still have another five minutes before our break. Great. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to do, is, I'm going to keep in track of time. Uh -huh. I'm going to do is, uh, I'm wetting the top two thirds of this. And uh, then I can just take that blue that I have left and I'm just going to go like that. Look at that. It's going to paint itself. And uh, then I think I'll take uh, another swipe. And I have some paints gray over here. Uh, you could use neutral tint or whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to go a little across the top and uh, I'm going to go across the uh, bottom and it's just going to float down to where my water ran out. And so that's wet and wet. And now I'm just going to mix up kind of a neutral color, just a, a gray. And uh, I'm just going to paint this bottom part. I'm going to paint it a light tone wet on dry. Look at the sky paint itself. Isn't it, great? it kills me. I love watercolor. Damn. Make me look good. And if I want to stop that, I'm just going to flatten it. But right now it's on uh, Mr. Gravity's back there. All I'm going to do is take this and just go uh, straight across here. So that is just a background for a, uh, it's going to be a dry on dry later on. So anyway, that's what that's all I wanted to do with this is to just get this started. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm not going to paint this one. I'm just going to leave that one alone. That's my underpainting and I did it. So I wanted you to see that. So here's my top two thirds. And that's uh, 
wet and wet. And I'm gonna put a swipe. I'm gonna put another swipe. And I'm painting this as it's drying. I'm gonna put a darker swipe. I'm gonna mix a little bit of these uh, colors together. And I'm gonna keep some of that blue, but I wanna go right through uh, here. And in fact, I think I'm gonna make, uh, I think I'm gonna make this uh, darker over here while it's still wet. And now I've got these diagonals opposing each other, which I kind of like. Uh, I'm gonna uh, darken this up here just a little bit more. And I'm gonna put in a little uh, wedge right here. So now I've got an opening. I don't know what this is. I have not a clue as to what this is going to be yet. Uh, I do know that I want the light coming from the right now that I see this. So I'm just gonna lift that right there. I'm just gonna lift. Oh, look at that. Light's coming from the right. Kind of cool. <laughs> and I can either lift now or I'll use some white paint uh, and show you uh, later uh, how that might work. And I'm going to clean up this edge with a little bit of uh, blue. There. It's kind of cool. And I'm just going to uh, take my Kleenex. And I'm going to touch this right here. That already looks like a landscape to me. That does. I'm just going to mm. touch the brush, soak up a little bit of that paint, my thirsty brush. And now I've got the bottom of this. So once again, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to put in a light, uh, a light uh, value. And I'm not going to touch the top part of that. I'm going to let that uh, little light line go right through there. And all I want to do is uh, put a little tone down here. Well, OK, a lot of tone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want that to dry. So right away, I think that we might have a little landscape going. I could go blot. I could go lift. Uh, I'll try a little blot right there. I'll drop the Kleenex. Uh, that's kind of cool. It kind of picks a little bit up what's happening there. Uh, I'll let that go behind there. And we've only done a few strokes on this. I mean, we have kept it very, very simple. I'm going to dry the bottom of this real quick. Hey, uh, Joe Osborne, are you around? Joe Osborne? I guess I'm supposed to. There we go. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty dry. So now. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. So um, uh, I want to let everybody know we're going to take a, a break and do a. Joe, is this a good time for a 10? A 10 minute break. Joe, Sabiri. Am I muted? Yeah, no, I can hear you now. Joe, I'm thinking we should probably take a little break. Uh, is that good? Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to do a little, um, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna screen share. Okay. You can keep on working if you want. Um, I think okay. I've got everybody pretty well. Which is the which of the first paintings do you want to? Uh, or we can just give people their choice. One is on top. Uh, here. Let me move this. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's gorgeous. So is everybody, did everybody uh, register in the chat for the register to win? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something up that's just an outrageous, silly little thing. 
and it's um let's see where's my screen share come on i'd like to screen uh joe i'd like to sh to share this screen with you exit oh no. well, here let me get out of the share okay and then you can okay uh, you won't see me anymore but uh, you'll see everybody else okay you won't be far i'm sure let me know i'm gonna i'm gonna if you wanted to be in this this is uh we're gonna do one more okay good we're gonna do okay where is it definitely new at this i don't know i think i'm still we're still looking at your screen oh wait here here nope there it is. No, we're not. We're looking at okay. Arch now Ventura. We're, now we're looking at, hopefully. I think she wants to go look for her. Wait a second. We're going to. Why are you launching Zoom? I didn't mean to be. Laura Walter. Laura's here. Who is, where's Laura? It says I'm launching Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. No, no, you're, not, you're not launching Zoom. Don't type anything into that. Just ignore it. Well, where is where is Laura? Is she here? I'm right here. I'm right here. Yep. Wait, I, I don't see. I don't see you. Where are you? I can oh, hear you, Michelle. There you are. Okay. Well, Laura, um, let me let me see. Is um, Sharon Taylor? You're muted. Could you unmute, Sharon? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Could you write down that Laura Walter won the first, oh. the first uh, gift? I'll this do. Is Joe Sabiri. Now the next one is going to be a, uh, a either a pad of watercolor paper or the. Uh, can you see me? This is either a 16 by 20. Either a 16 by 20. Uh, canvas blank blank canvas or a an eight by ten pad of watercolor paper and you'll have a choice and you're That's, asking me laura okay well laura you have a choice yeah laura you have a choice of either watercolor paper a, a blank i would love the watercolor paper thank you very very much well, i mean you have that or you could win uh the uh painting by uh joe sabiri um, I'd love the watercolor paper. Oh, okay. So would, would you write that down? Um, I, am, I am writing that down. Congratulations, okay. Laura. Oh, merci. So a block. <laughs> and so you'll be able to come on uh, Monday or Tuesday, I guess, to come by the BAA, the new studio. And um, At some point in my life, I will. <laughs> okay, you can coordinate that with Sharon because she's the one that's there most of the time. I might be able to bring that to the harbor, so that will. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, they could do that. And then the yeah. um, we're going to do one more and then we'll do two more drawings at the end of the whole shebang. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do Michelle one. has a cute randomizer that we're not seeing. That's, that's a shame. But are it you, is randomized. I just want my, everybody to know that she kind of spins the wheel and it gets randomized. So everybody you, has an equal chance. Are you seeing my screen? Yeah, I'm seeing we are screen. seeing okay. like a Zoom sign in from your screen, not yeah. the randomizer. Which really confused me because I thought I hadn't signed in when I like I didn't know if I was in the room or not. That's well, hi, Jason. Hi. Jason, did you, did you sign in to hi? Good to see you. Okay, I so gosh, that's really me. bad. I can see the randomizer. I see it. Oh, did you see it? Okay, well, I, I just, do see it. Okay. Oh, I see. There's the Zoom thing. I don't know why that is. Okay. Now I'm going to do my desktop. I'm seeing a join meeting. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to go ahead. Can anybody see the randomizer thing? No. No. I can see it, but I have two monitors. That's why I can see it. But I can see it, so I say spin it. <laughs> we even practiced this this afternoon. Uh, Boy, so much for practicing. Okay, no, you just you're just sharing the wrong screen. If you go back into share, pick the right, pick the screen you want. How's this? Oh, really? Barbara is sharing her screen according to Barbara Welsh. So should so maybe Barbara can unshare. Yeah, that's probably connected. Well, 
I don't think she's from. <laughs> let me let me try one more time. And my apologies, you know. Okay, I'm gonna close. Ooh. Oh my God! This and there's the, Joe. Hi, Joe. This is where the party is right here. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh. Okay, if we so. could figure out how to use the technology. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Hope there's the randomizer thingy. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, there hey, it is. Yes. Oh wow. Hey. <laughs> okay, so this is the most fun I've ever had. I don't know a lot of but... It's like being in Vegas. <laughs> it is. It's right. Really spin spin the wheel. Okay, here we go. Woohoo. <laughs> it's not spinning. It is too. Come on. Oh, there I'm... it goes. Stay. Oh. Lee Hodges. Woohoo. Is Lee here? The video is lagging. <laughs> but is, is Lee here with us? Lee. Oh. Did Lee leave? You gotta be present to Oh my goodness, okay, Lee. Let's make sure because if she's gone. Let me take a look. Lee, you were a winner, but oh it looks like she left. Oh, too bad. Yep. Lee is not here. Uh, I guess I guess spin it some more. Okay. Spin it again. again. This is one of those things where you have to yep. present to win. Okay, and if I win, I'm not gonna take it, but okay, let's see. Can everybody see it? It's, like, it's not. Oh my moving. gosh. All right, here we go. Oh, Kathy. Kathy of BAA. Where are you, Kathy? Are you here? Kathy Bodycomb. Is that yeah. me? Yes, that's I'm here. You. Kathy Bodycomb. Yeah. Well, okay. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you. Okay, so you have a choice. We, uh -huh. have, uh, we have a 16 by 20 inch blank oil painting canvas or yes. we have one of Joe Sabiri's beautiful paintings and you can choose either one. Uh, is it Joe's? Yeah. Sure, I'll take one of Joe's paintings. Yeah, lucky girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you got, you got, um, Sharon's going to write that down. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Well, there we go. And, and um, so we have we have a couple minutes left for everybody to introduce themselves. And, and uh, Don's here. Don's going to do a, 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 a couple of minutes. So are a lot of people here from, um, you can un unmute yourselves if you want and ask questions of Joe or anybody if you want. That's really funny. I'm getting a rain. You see the rain on my, on my screen? Uh, that's your connection. I've got an ethernet connection. Oh. oh, I think somebody pulled a prank on me and they put there are these really cool pictures that you can have. I'm going to stop sharing here. I have a question for okay, Joe. There we go. So I have a Hello. question for Joe. This is Laura. I'm waving to you so you can see me. Okay. <laughs> when when are your classes? Is, is it Monday night or Monday day? I know Lorna talks about them all the time. Yay. I have uh, uh, Three class, I teach three classes a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They're all from 10 to 1, okay. depending on your schedule. Uh, I also have workshops on the weekends. I'm sorry? It's somebody else who's talking in the background. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I also have uh, workshops on the weekend. Twice a month, I have a Saturday workshop. So oh. that's for people who are busy during the week. And it's also 10 to 1. Can you put that in the chat, Joe? Uh, yes, or, I can. Or, or maybe Sharon could put it in. Can you find? Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I was I did not hear that. So if oh, maybe Joe better put Joe it in. Can, your, I think Joe your, better do it in your contact info. Can you do that, Joe? Yeah, I will. Okay, great. Great. Okay. Um, oh heck, I can do part of it. Or somebody can. Anybody? Let's see. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? M Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 to 1, M and uh, uh, twice a month, the first Saturday and the third Saturday, unless there's a holiday for a uh, workshop. Twice a month. Um, which which are the days that you do the, or do you know, twice a month? They're Saturdays. Yeah, I'm sorry. Which, um, the first and first and third, or second and fourth, or does it, do you no, kind first, of apply? First, first and third. Okay, and that... Okay. Unless I'm doing a workshop someplace else, I have. A, I Oops, have I just sorry. I have a, a, a conflict in it, so. 
Okay, so the first and third Saturday, and that's from what time? Uh, they're all 10 to 1. Oh. All, uh, all the classes, all the workshops uh, are 10 to 1. Okay. And how do you want people to reach you? Uh, they can email me at uh, josabiri at macmac.com. It's my name at macmac. Uh, uh, or they can call me at 805-217-6512. I'll put that in the chat too. Okay, I think I got it. 805-217-6512. Correct. Okay. Okay, there it is. Um, Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, Can we open up the floor to questions from what Joe has just done? If there's any questions about what Joe Sabiri has done so far, um, unmute yourself and say hi. And, any and questions? Also, um, and Sharon, could you put in the chat the contact info for BAA again, just in case? Yes. So, Any questions for Joe? Where are you showing? Are, are you showing? Your, you're over at Channel Islands, right? Are you still there? The okay. studio? You, Joe, you're at Channel Islands Studios I'm still? Studios at uh, Channel Islands. Uh, you guys probably already know where that is. Uh, Channel Islands uh, Studio Art Center. It's an old town Camarillo. It's a campus. There's 45, about 45 artists here. It was a middle school that closed. And so you're way, way in the back on the right. Is I, That's where I remember I, you. I is am uh, an art alley is what they call it. Oh, okay. Art so alley. once you get in, uh, there's, a, there's like a farmer's market here every Saturday. But once you go through the gates, go all the way to the back of the parking lot. In fact, there's a separate little parking lot, uh, a jog. Uh, that's right next to the studio. So. Are you doing, you're doing in-person teaching? Not yet. We're campuses. Uh, it's going it, to, it's getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> I got so. my, first, I got my first shot that shows you how old I am. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, no, we're not ready for that yet. And then it's going to okay. be interesting. I definitely am going to keep the Zoom workshops on Saturdays. Oh. Good. As a, I'll probably do part live, part Zoom. I'll have to figure that out for the classes. Once we get back to classes, I'll have live classes. It's, it's, of course, it's more hands on, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, it's the, the campus here. We're still under uh, Peter. The director will not let uh, their galleries not open. Uh, you can do by appointment. If you uh, happen to want to buy something, you can do that. Everybody has to wear, you know, mask, social distance, all the other things that go on. So uh, I'll show you at the end of this what we're doing this coming Saturday, tomorrow, and uh, in two weeks. I'll show you what we're doing when I get back to the share. And if anybody has any questions about... Uh, uh, the clouds, uh, I, I don't know. It's just if you try it, you'll see. You'll see what's going on if you just try it. So it doesn't have to turn out as, a, as a, your greatest cloud study. It's just a technique. It could apply to rocks. It could apply to land. It could apply to uh, animals. The, the, uh, Lois has a question of uh, you. I was just wondering, do we need to make another sheet, uh, you know, lay, lay out another sheet? Are we going to do something else? Uh, we're, we are going to do something else as soon as I finish this guy up. And uh, I will, you, you want me to go back to screen share? I'll show you. Okay. I think, I think we're just about ready. Let me see my... Yeah, I think it's time. Yep, we're there. Let's do it. Okay, let me go back to screen share. And uh, you guys can't see this, but I have my choice of what's on my desktop, I can click on each one of those and that's what you're gonna see. But I'm clicking on my whole desktop. So that gives me the opportunity to, uh, now I'm looking at everybody here. Uh, I'm, all, I'm gonna hide that and I'm gonna take this, uh, uh, this away and bring back the uh, sky. 
uh, this guy's thing that we've been uh, working on, which is this guy. And we're going to finish up this one. And what we're going to do for the uh, other, what did I do with it? Oh, uh, here's, here, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we might not get to four of them. We'll do a couple. Uh, and these are the same size, the same size pad, except there are four instead of eight. Okay. Oh, um, how many? I'm sorry. Oh, four. I, I, I can do these on a smaller pad. And uh, here's what I did for uh, another group. So here's a nine by 12 pad, I think. So it's that size. And these are both uh, painted the uh, same same way as we're going to do this little one. Top two thirds wet, bottom uh, third is going to be wet on dry and dry on dry. So I just wanted to show you a little bit uh, of that uh, of the bottom part to show you what happens. And it's going to be very similar to this. And I'm just going to take a little, uh, I'm going to take a smaller brush slightly smaller brush. Uh, and I'm just going to mix a little uh, neutral, a little mid-toned value. I, I'm more concerned with value than color. And I want some, I want to make the bottom look different than the top. I'm going to come in tighter on this. So I want to make the bottom look uh, different than the top. Uh, because I want some uh, texture. So the first thing I can do is just go like that. See, so now I've got some texture in the in this uh, ground, and I can just uh, squiggle around. I have nothing in mind, nothing in mind about what I'm doing here. I just want to make this look uh, like land. I have some light coming from here. I'm going to make a dark uh, rock right there. Uh, I'm going to put uh, some uh, rocks or something going on uh, back here. Uh, I'm going to put some. Uh, pebbles uh, there. I'm going to make uh, some uh, grass and I'm just going to pull up. So I've got this texture. I'm just going to pull up like this and uh, it's going to uh, make uh, these weeds, this grass. See that? So now I've made this little landscape and we, we spent no time on it. Absolutely no time on this. I mean, that top was painted very quickly. I'm going to uh, uh, kill this over here because I want the light uh, to stay with me right in this area. And uh, I can also go back while this is wet and I can uh, scrape it. So there's a rock and then I can uh, uh, do this. And uh, it starts to look, uh, starts to look pretty real. And I'm looking for my white paint. Uh, so now I can take this and I can put in a few highlights if I uh, want. So there's a highlight on top of that rock. And you see these little uh, highlights make a big uh, difference. And I'm just faking it. I love imaginary landscapes. I love them uh, because they're, uh, they're just so fun, especially with uh, watercolor. See, so that's really uh, actually enough. So I'm gonna take the tape off of these guys. And I have, I had no idea what I was doing when I started this, no idea. I would just knew I was gonna make a, some kind of a landscape. I love, I love pulling the tape off like everybody else. <laughs> Get rid of the mess. Now I could take this one and do the same thing and it would look completely different because I wouldn't know what I was doing as far as a uh, landscape. And I can uh, peel the tape off and take another look and say, oh, okay, it needs a little bit of this or a little bit of that. Yeah, if I used uh, another palette, uh, it would be... Uh, uh, it would look different, which we're going to do right now. We're going to use a cool and a warm. 
but that's how we're going to paint these other things. They're going to tell, they're going to tell us uh, what to paint. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to lift a little bit right through there to break that uh, dark shape up and to give a little more interest and depth. And there you go. And I'm going to pull back and uh, try to show you the whole, whole thing. If I can do that. There we go. Well, I forgot to tell people about that, um, that sharing. Oh, that's beautiful, Joe. Yeah. What awesome. was the name of that website? Because uh, I did. That's Cluster. Cluster. Cluster.co. And if you go on there, you can share what you've painted, everybody. If you, you can post, you can remove. So no worries. If you and, just it's under, and it's under BAA. So if you go on cluster.co, get that app. I guess you have to get the app. And then you can upload it to the BAA page. We've already set one up. I'm going to uh, go there right now. So this is, uh, Lauren is very familiar with Cluster. That's where she posts her stuff. Uh, this is Cluster and this is class uh, stuff. So I've got all these folders. I've got cool stuff. I've got classwork. And uh, here's a reference uh, down here. So it's full of all kinds of photos that we use for reference. And uh, uh, here is um, BAA. So there you go. And you can uh, post because up here, you can all see this, I hope. Up here in the right hand corner, it says post. It's got a plus. If I click on that, it says add photo. And all I do is drag a photo from my desktop. Uh, I, will, uh, I will close this for a second or get out of this for a second. And I will say, okay, I have, uh, I have a photo of this uh, stuff right here. So I'm going to drag that off my desktop. Oh, I won't take a PDF. I'll take the screenshot. I'm gonna drag this in here and upload photo. And there it goes. And so now that's in the album. So now you guys ha all have that. So cool. there's, there's what she put in. You can use this for reference. Very nice. Thank you so much. That's Anyway, uh, so that's just, uh, that's the, you were all, I think she sent you all an invitation for that. Well, so. I might've I might screwed up a little. But everybody can take their, the, if you take, if you t write this down, cluster.co and uh, go online I, with it. I sent you, or you should have had an invitation. You should have gotten an invitation to join that folder. Anyway. Are you, are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? Yeah, when you set that yeah, up. I you, did, I did. That's how I set it up. Yeah, if you go into settings, it says invite a large group. So uh, if you click on that, it will give you uh, it will give you a link. Okay, and we'll we'll invite everybody who was here today that we have invite them that way. Okay. So can you guys see how easy these uh, little guys are to just create something out of nothing? This this landscape. I'm not saying that it's a, 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 a great painting. I actually like my other one better, but that's okay. It's just different. You can put this any place. You could make uh, it at the tropics. You could make this uh, the desert. You could make this whatever. I'm just showing you that uh, these doing these little studies this size is uh, very cool. You learn so much by doing it. So anyway, uh, there is this. I'll take a pick. Of, well, I don't know if I'll take a pick of this. I think you already have the sheet. Uh, but I am going to uh, do a couple of these. Uh, other guys. And uh, by the way, this is uh, for just, just real quick. This is, uh, by the way, Lorna, this is from today's class. Uh, actually, these were both done in 10 minutes. We've been doing this whole thing. And how much can you paint in 10 minutes? And wow. yep. uh, a lot more than you think you can. Anyway, uh, okay, hang on there, camera. Anyway, uh, I had people send in photos. Somebody sent in a photo of themselves. Uh, that's one of our students. And uh, 
Uh, that was done in, actually that was a little over 10 minutes because it was a little more complicated. This was 10 minutes and eight seconds. <laughs> and a photo in it obviously is her. She wanted to know how to paint it. So if, by doing these, I can fail faster. So this is one of the things that we do in classes. And this is one of the things that we're going to be doing in a workshop tomorrow, which is abstract watercolors. And this was done by taping this off into six uh, panels, just the way we did these. And I painted one big painting. I painted the whole thing. I didn't paint individuals. I painted one big painting. And then I took the tape. You can see how this continues and this continues. Uh, and then I just took one of them and started working it. I added some color. I said, what is this telling me what to do? And it goes right back to design. Does this look good this way, this way, this way, this way? That's one of my goals. So and it's not so much about style. Abstract art is nothing more than design. Anyway, so that would be typical of a uh, workshop. So I'm gonna take this off of here and uh, I'm just going to, uh, oh, we've got a little bit of time left. We've got tons of time. Leave that on. I'm going to use this other pad. Use uh, this size pad. So I'll pull back a little bit and then come back in on it. This is uh, your standard 11 and a uh, 11 by 15 pad. It's just a Strathmore. Get the brown uh, color because these are practice things, but the paper's not bad, I think. Uh, and I've used it for years. Uh, it's 11 by 15. Uh, so I can uh, just go ahead and tape off just like I did the other ones. I'm gonna make uh, four instead of eight. I'm gonna make these be four. rectangles, four little studies, quick studies. Boy, you, do you learn a lot by doing quick studies? Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. That's the biggest challenge in this is trying to uh, get the tape on there. <laughs> put the tape on to get four equal, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Anyway, so here we go. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to use again, I'm going to use Mr. Gravity. And I'll come in tighter on uh, this one. I'm just going to do the top. I think I'll do these two maybe. Anyway, uh, I want to get my burnt sienna and my ultramarine, which is uh, this guy. Uh, so there's my burnt sienna and there's my ultramarine. I think I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see this uh, palette. So I'll do these two guys. Uh, and I'm going to squeeze out a little bit, fresh paint, always try to do that. There's a little bit of the burnt sienna. And here goes a little bit of the ultramarine. And uh, these two colors I like a lot because they make great neutrals. They will make the best dark black, if you will. And beautiful grays, warm grays, uh, cool grays, uh, whatever. So I'm not even going to uh, clean my water. <laughs> How about that? Uh, so I'm just going to wet the uh, top two thirds, just like we did on that other one. So which brown are you using? I'm sorry, you just said, but. How much? Which of which? What's the color of brown? Uh, burnt sienna. Okay, thank you. Uh, only because I have it. Okay. I mean, uh, I think it's a good uh, combination. In fact, I will show you one of these if you remind me. So I'm just starting off with burnt sienna and I'm just going to make a swipe. 
and uh, then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, glue, and, and I have to be aware that my paper is already wet. So there's some glue. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. And I'm going to take out, put a little bit up there, and uh, that paper is going to seep down. I think I'm going to make a neutral out of this, and I'll show you, uh, because now I'm using the two together, and I made this beautiful uh, gray. This warm gray. And I'm going to let that go uh, on down into uh, my, oh. my third. And uh, I can leave this, uh, this uh, uh, light sky coming from over here. This is all going to dry back quite a bit. I'm just going to take a damp brush right now and I'm just going to go through there. I'm just going to go through here right there like that. And I'm going to lift a little bit up here like that. And uh, I think I will do what we just got done doing. Uh, I'm going to take a Kleenex. And I'm going to uh, blot out this edge just a little bit. Wow. It's kind of a cool looking sky already. That was what, how many strokes? <laughs> and while that's still uh, damp, so this is all painting itself. Uh, this is all just uh, uh, kind of cooking. I'm gonna put a wedge right here. Look at that. Look at how it's painting itself. Isn't that cool? I'm sorry, I, I'll get excited. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Anyway, so I'm going to mix up a, a thicker paint, a thicker neutral, and uh, I'm going to go uh, right through here like this. And uh, I'm just going to start putting uh, some of these suggested. Oh my God, I'm, mine is so wet. I've got my paint so, my. That's okay. Paper is so wet. It doesn't do nearly what yours is doing. <laughs> well, uh, this uh -huh. is uh, this is kind of wet too. But uh, oh, so you see how it's painting itself. See, I'm just touching it. I'm just touching these things, and it seems to be painting itself. And uh, uh, I can go back, and I can. Uh, I'm going to go back with a, just a damp brush, and I'm going to lift a little uh, color right through uh, here. And that's not going to stay. That's going to dissipate. But uh, uh, look at the beautiful effect that it's uh, giving us. Mm. Uh. I mean, this is, uh, this is what the fun part for me for watercolor, for sure. So now I've got this uh, uh, bottom part. I have no I, I have no idea what I was going to do when this started. I have no idea, but I know that sky is kind of light and it's it's warm and uh, uh, over here and it's cool over here and I've got this nice little glow that's happening uh, down there. Which when this is dry, I'm going to put that in front of that. Uh, but uh, just to show you, I'm going to take some more of this uh, neutral. I'm mixing the blue together. If you can see that, there's my blue. Uh, here's my brown. And uh, I think I'm going to make a, a warmer gray. And I'm just going to go, uh, yeah. I have no idea what that's going to be. No idea. Anyway, I think I'll just uh, take uh, that. And uh, maybe I'll make a fence line over along there. I don't know yet. Anyway, I can also take my uh, uh, my palette knife, my poor man's uh, palette knife, and uh, I can... Uh... No, there's a stump. How about that? There's a stump. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't painted a stump yet, but I am going to uh, paint there's a stump and the lights coming from there. So the shadow would be over here. 
Uh, here's some uh, sticks, some old, uh, uh, maybe here's a log. Oh, I recognize this is Michigan. That's what that is. There you go. Hey. I recognize that as Michigan. Good for you. Me too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so here's uh, that going on. And I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. Uh, I want to uh, lighten that up right through there. Let this uh, dry now, but can you see the difference between this nice wet and wet and then this nice uh, uh, wet on dry? In fact, I'm going to take a little bit of the warm color. Uh, I want it to be warm. Could have actually been a little warmer. Uh, so I want to pick up a little bit of that. Uh, so I'm just going to go like uh, that. I want to pick a little bit of that color up. So now I'm designing. This could be just a, this is an imaginary landscape. This is uh, this is back to uh, the abstract. I am an abstract landscape painter, which sounds like an oxymoron. Sounds like a paradox. How can you be? So here I'm, I'm just touching this. I'm just touching it. And I'm putting in uh, some of these uh, trees. It's kind of cool. And uh, it's drier here than it is other places. Here, here it's damp. Here, here it was dry. I can leave this just like it is, pretty much. I want to put a little, uh, I want to pick that cool color back up here because it's warm there. I'm going to use a little bit of that uh, blue and I'm going to try to do it pretty pale right through there because I want to keep the light uh, up here. That's actually uh, not too bad just the way it is. So. If I say that, then I could take the tape off, but I'll wait to take the tape off and we'll take another look at it. But can you guys see how we made something out of nothing? Yep. Yep. Yes. Really cool. I need, uh, I need dark. Where do I need dark? I've got all the dark over here. Oh. And then back to being a designer. Uh, I need uh, some dark right through here. I'm not gonna just put a thing of dark. I don't know what that is, but I wanted that there to balance this. And I'm still going to try to give you a way into painting. So I'm going to lift this. And there's your path into the painting coming right through here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will use a colored pencil, or in that case, I'll use a white pencil. I could go back and put it some stuff with a white pencil, some highlights. I'll use anything it takes. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, sharp marker, and uh, I'm just going to put in a little uh, fence line going through there. So that suggests that it might be a pasture or something. Or maybe somebody will think it's just something. I like those little marks in there. Super beautiful, cool. Huh? Super beautiful, cool. Mm -hmm. And also we've got something. Awesome, awesome. In a few minutes, you've got a landscape, wow. Uh, I'm going to take some uh, white paint just to show you. Uh, so I'm going to mix some uh, white paint. I'm going to paint uh, uh, dry yeah. on dry. I want uh, this paint to be uh, pretty white, pretty uh, dry, uh, because I could do the same thing uh, as I did with paint. I'm just going to open this up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to do just that. So that opened that up and made it more organic. 
if you will. Uh, I'm also, uh, while I'm uh, here, uh, I'm also going to uh, put a couple little uh, highlights in here. This is, the, this is the most fun for me because I get to be a designer. <laughs> and there's a little highlight just to break that up. And I could put something there just to break that up. And that suggests reality. So there's a, there's a lot of suggested um, detail in there. And I have a question. What's the difference between your workshops and your classes? Um, the work, the classes are, uh, for instance, in today's class, I took requests. They sent me a photo. Uh, we're still doing it in 10 minutes, but it's more personal. The workshops have a theme. I will show you at the, in fact, I'll uh, show you right now. And it's ongoing as a class, right? And you're it's ongoing it's five week or 10 week sessions. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the clouds. So let me show you something uh, really quick. Uh, here is the, let me find it. Uh, here's the flyer, uh, darn it. I don't want to do that. Uh, I have your workshop flyer, so don't worry. I have the workshop flyers. Oh, okay. I was just showing, uh, that's what I was going to show is I was going to show a, uh, uh, I can't figure out what I did with it because I know I had the PDF that I sent out. Uh, and that's the, uh, oh, I know what I did with it. I left it in here, I think, nope. I always do this to myself. Well, you're 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 catching up anyway, so I don't feel so bad. And we've got ten more minutes. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to leave five minutes to do the drawing. Or actually, you can keep on doing the workshop, and I'll do the drawing until seven. You know. Okay. That gives us fifteen more minutes. Okay. Because I've got three squares that are looking for something. You know. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Wow. Uh, so, so would you say would you say that the workshops are for people that are more advanced in painting and they want to just experiment or, and the classes are for people that want a heavy like heavy duty learning sessions? Hey Joe, uh, turn around and look at the screen. Abstract watercolors. Yes. So not, 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 uh, it's it's more it's just themed. That's all. Okay. It's a, okay, it's thank just, you just more themed so here's the here's keep that here's on. the one tomorrow just right. so you here's the one that's tomorrow and this is abstract watercolors right. this is abstract watercolors plus what do i mean by that tomorrow we're just going to paint just like we're doing right now uh is a transparent watercolor with uh some uh, opaque and whatnot but really it's basically transparent watercolor and a little bit of opaque watercolor this one, and it's on a cold press, 140 pound cold press. This is different because it's still designed. You can tell I'm a crucifix nut. Uh, it's still designed, but this is on UPO. So I get a much different look on uh, UPO. And I can, use, uh, I can use acrylic inks and I can use uh, uh, kitchen uh, uh, sink mats and I can use uh, uh, these squares or holes in a piece of uh, stiff uh, paper that I've painted with gouache by using a roller. Uh, so you get, ah. it's still abstract, but it's like oh, more like mixed media. So that's the difference, but that's a typical workshop. We pick one thing and we beat it to death. Okay, I understand. Okay, good, thank you. And you're doing that tomorrow? Anyway, so when is, is that uh, going to be tomorrow? Oh, no, wait, yeah. 
That's going to be tomorrow, Joe. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow, ten to one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and I'm going to. I think this is dry right now. I'm going to take a little bit of a tone, and I'm going to try to uh, make this. Uh, I'm going to try to make this. Uh, I'm not having much luck. I'm going to try to make this darker. This edge, because I want this there. Really, you, I want this to be in front of what's behind it. See, that made a lot of difference to me. So it's at, and now. Uh, now it's it gives done. it atmosphere, huh? Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of. It's a uh, space. It's a uh, depth. Mm. So, mm -hmm. anyway, uh, so that um, I like that. And I'll show you uh, one uh, more thing, and um, if, but I want to make sure that we have time for that, and it is. Uh, so here's one that uh, I did. Uh, here's, here's one that I did a while ago, and I like this. I love this glow back in here, and I loved, if you can see that closer, uh, I loved all the um, stuff that watercolor gave me, that bloom. Uh, all this texture, all this whatever, and I like the design. I like the light source. So I can't paint that up big, right? Because it's not going to end up like that. It's not going to look like that. So I'm going to stop my share for a second, and I'm going to uh, highlight uh, me if I can. Can you make me big, somebody? Michelle, can you make? Uh, Joe? Um no, you already well, Joe, are. You Joe, are. You're um, already. Is the... I'm already big. Yeah, yeah you're, you're. You're already. You're already big um, to me. You're spotlighted, Joe. You are big. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I can't. That's not showing up on my uh, monitor. Anyway, I want yeah, to... it doesn't show on the on the person who's being spotlighted. That's true. So I want to show you uh, this. If I can. So this is that same painting. Take my glasses off. So wow. I can... Oh, wow. That's, that's a, awesome. That's the same painting. And uh, that's... Uh, and Lois has a question. Lois, go ahead and ask. Lois has a question. Yeah. No, it, I'm sorry. I forgot to take it down. <laughs> anyway, I can't paint that Oh, big. sorry. That happened. happened. So I'm taking advantage wow. of technology. And these are very reasonable to have done. So, Joe, that's a digital representation. Yes, that's a that's a print. That's a canvas print from the original art. Nice. It's a it's a jacle. It's a it's a jacle. <laughs> yeah. So, Emily yeah, knows it the sounds photograph. Good. What size was the art to begin with? Uh, it is, and I will go back to share the screen again. It is. It is uh, six by four and a half, mm -hmm. blown up to uh, thirty by uh, forty by thirty inches. But you had to photograph that first, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or scan it. The technology is what I'm doing, and I have several more back there. If you can, uh, when you saw my screen, all those. Yeah. Those are all small guys. Wow. Those are all small studies that I liked and I blew up. Wow, nice. Okay, let's go back and let's try something else. Cool. Uh, we have time. Hey, yep. back to the ten-minute paintings. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do a quickie. Uh, Wheel of Fortune at the very end, so we don't. The other thing I want to mention while I'm talking is that Sharon Weaver. Do you know her, Joe? I do. You do? Um, maybe you can tell us how wonderful it would be to come next month to see her. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you should. Uh, you should see as many different people as you can, even if it's not your cup of tea. Yeah, she's I, the oil. I only paint this or that. Uh, you'll get a nugget out of something because everybody's saying the same stuff. So I just wet this top half and I'm just going to do uh, that. 
And I'm going to make this one, if I made this one uh, brown, uh, warm, I'm going to make this one uh, cool. And I'm going to make it uh, blue. Blue, blue. You wet the whole thing first? I wet the, remember I wet the top two thirds. Oh, that's right. Yeah. See, part of me is doing paperwork while we're trying to do this, so I miss a couple things. Oh. My apologies. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, I, I'm I'm uh, I I, I kind of like uh, I like this. It's lighter. It's kind of uh, brighter. It's kind of uh, whatever. And I think I will take this. And I think I will. Uh, oh, I already did that. I already did the uh, uh, blotting. Uh, so maybe I'll just uh, do a big swipe. I like doing big swipes. I like uh, I like letting it paint itself. And I'm just going to uh, say, okay, I want some darker over there this time. I want a different kind of light. But I'm getting this nice little thing happening in the middle here. And I might put, I'm going to put some uh, warm uh, coming uh, in the foreground. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, let's see. I do something like that. Where is that? What is that doing for me? Uh, I don't know yet. Oops. Almost a road. It could be a road. It could be a river. Uh, it, it's a definite, definitely a path into the painting. And uh, maybe this is uh, maybe this is a dune. Maybe it's at uh, the dunes. I'm going to make that warm down there. When you were in Michigan, did you go to Canada very much? Speaking of that. Oh, yeah, well, Detroit was right across the river. <laughs> we, we used to go to Grand Bend, which was Port Huron. And yeah. Okay. Toronto. You know. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not sure I wanted to do that, so I'll get rid of that. But... Uh, I'm going to uh, see, let's see the lights coming from there. So that's going to be lit. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, again, I'm trying to find the light source. Uh, that's what I do. As soon as I make my boundaries and I start painting, I have to have a light source. I have to, uh, because uh, uh, that's going to uh, determine uh, that whole uh, painting. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful little stroke. Oh, that just happened. Oh, I got a little painting going here. <laughs> and I'm going to certainly make this a lot uh, darker. And I'm going to uh, do something here. And uh, I'm going to make something over here dark too. Uh, yeah. What kind of a an art tray do you use or palette? Is it a is it a pan? World market. Uh, I usually don't use this. I use this for these guys because I'm using two colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. and they're uh, uh, sauce trays. Oh, ah, sushi. Cool. <laughs> okay. Got it. <laughs> I just want to break that up. And uh, while this is still wet, I am going to, uh, for sure, look how beautifully that uh, turns positive into a negative. I can scribble around and do whatever I wanted. And uh, I could be done with that one. That looks mm -hmm. like a beach or something. I think I am going to let it dry a tad and I think I am going to balance this with I'm going to put a little cooler because of atmospheric perspective and uh, I'm going to uh, try to put yeah that might work back there just a little uh, suggestion of a landmass that might work
That's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what I was doing there. A little negative space. And uh, of course, then I have to. Uh, I use I use this. Oh, I was wondering where the birds were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, that sky is still really wet, really wet. I have to dry that. Too damp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, we're going to disappear, I guess. Sharon, do we or Joe? Joe uh, Osborne? No. Joe Osborne? Yeah. Um, do we just disappear? Like, does it? No. Like, oh, it no, you can you can go on forever. Oh, okay. Even though we only booked it for okay. Yeah, the only you, you, yeah they only let you set it up for so many hours. But as far as I know, you can go on for a long time. I okay. mean, Joe did. In fact, I've been to Joe's classes, and he does like three, four hours. So I mean, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, you can go over as much. As I was you. afraid we were going to all disappear. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I think I have, uh, this over here, I think I want to put in a little, uh, now that that's a little drier, try to put in a, just a little subtle uh, wedge uh, right here of a, a sky. And I'm going to use the side of my brush again to get that lacy look. Kind of like that uh, pointing uh, down. Love that brush. Gives it maybe a little more drama. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. While that's still wet, add a little depth. There we go. And then uh, I can uh, actually uh, put uh, nice, not that sweet. Hmm. Silhouetting. Nice, I love that. Nice, nice effect. Anyway, so that's just a little imaginary. That's all it is. And I could take that and I could say, okay, I kind of like that and I'm going to make a bigger one or I'm going to do something or something. So anyway, uh, I can take this tape off. Take this tape off. Nice. Wait. Always makes a huge difference get to get rid of the mess. So you can actually look at it and then make judgments. 
Wow. That's neat what it did to the bottom of that one. Wow. Before we disappear, and we might keep on going, I just want to mention that artsventura.org has a web, a web page with a bunch of links of other artists that are doing things tonight. If anyone, you know, after you were done here, if you want to go and take a look at some of the things that are going on, there's, um, there are, uh, I think the uh, artist union, well, anyway, Marie Lakin has a chat where everyone's not a chat, but a Zoom where everyone's going to just kind of hang out and talk. And, and um, so after we're done here, just like we used to go to Stoneworks. Mm -hmm. You can go over there. Back in the old days. Uh huh. Back pre COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah, which seems so long ago. It does. But uh, so now arts, artsventura.org is going to be the, the, af the aftermath. <laughs> aftermath oh dear yeah. oh. Mm, that doesn't quite come out quite as well yeah the uh the next iteration the afterglow, the afterglow for the afterglow for no 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 for the new iteration <laughs> yeah, right. well i mean this is the show so that's the aftermath <laughs> i see yeah i didn't mean it quite so dark <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just for you guys. Is it fun? Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. How is it beautiful? Well, they're uh, again, they're just little uh, makeup. They're quick studies. And uh, so everybody goes for a walk. And uh, a lot of this stuff registers in your head uh, when you start doing this. But mm -hmm. as soon as you put down a stroke, it's going to tell you what to do next. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap some. Uh, I'm gonna put some stuff right through here, and then that's that's straight. So now I need a little something over here. I'm gonna make it the diagonal. And oh, by the way, I didn't. I just saw these. These diagonals kind of connect visually, but mm -hmm. I, I broke it up with a path. While we're talking, I'm gonna go ahead and hit yeah. this this thing because we can keep on painting. But if uh, you know, if if uh, we want to. Okay, Ilona. Is Alona here? She was here earlier. Oh, yes, I here. Ilona's here? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said Lorna. Oh, hi, Lorna. No, Ilona uh, Bataglia. Oh, gosh. Well, kiddo, I, I don't see her. Oh, hi, Leslie. I didn't see you. When did you sneak in, you little? Has it been fun? Oh, yeah. Very, very inspirational and Makes it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do another drawing. I'm so sorry because uh, Ilona is um, a very dear gal. She could use something fun. Okay. So let's go. Oh, Sarah. I bet you she's not here, huh? So she's got things another other place. Sarah, are you here? Unmute if you see yourself. No. Nope. Is um is Sharon? Are you writing these down? The people who could have won but weren't didn't. Oh, okay. I I'm not writing the people who don't win. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'll remember Sarah and Alona, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so um, every time I come back, it moves the cursor thing. But here we go. I'm gonna try another one. Try again. Yeah. Barbara Gardner, are you here? If you're here, shout out. I remember putting her on there just earlier. I think she has gone as well. Okay, we're gonna remove. What, what are you spinning for? Um. Uh. Well, Joe has been kind enough to donate one of his paintings, watercolor, and then I have a canvas, uh, a sixteen by twenty canvas that's um. Okay, here we go, another time. And there are so many other things going on. I really should have done this. Well, it doesn't matter. It's... Uh, Barbara Welch. Is that is that the whole name? Is Barbara here? Okay. I don't see that Barbara either. 
Okay, and I, I didn't take off the right thing because I apparently put her on there twice. So okay, here we go. This is fun. I'm just having a ga gas. So. Sharon. So which Sharon is it? I think. I, not me. Not you. I think we don't was. include me in this, but there was another Sharon here. I think I put the other Sharon's last name. Is there a Sharon here right now? Okay. No, looks like the other share. How many left people are too. here right now? Oh, I think goodness. a lot of people can't stay. We but... have 26 people. Okay, so maybe yeah. here. Many are down. And none of them seem to be chosen yet. Denise Sokolov. Okay. Denise, are you here? Oh, wait a second. Denise and Romy. What are your. There you are. They're okay. here. Okay, put your um, unmute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm here. Hello. So you're a winner. What would you what would you like? You get your choice. There's a beautiful painting by Joe Sabiri, and then there's a blank canvas which could hold all of the amazing things you think up. Uh, um, <laughs> I'll take the painting, please. That would be wonderful. Well, okay. All right. So um, I'm gonna go. Denise, if you up. could in the chat give yes. me your email so okay. we can figure out how to get you your your piece okay that would be wonderful you can do email and phone. Denise won. Yay. congratulations so we have one more one more gift okay. one more gift i can't see what i'm it looks like there's like something oh, hold on sarah sarah what's up Hi. you won something you weren't here yeah <laughs> I did, but I lost all my internet. Oh, gosh. Right? Just when you were about to spin the wheel and, and you I lost. Know, we, okay. we couldn't figure out what was wrong. It turned out I must have caught. I'm going to, I'm going to, you're, you're on, you're on with me. I'm going to um, give you one of my extra um, paint, uh, easels. I mean, uh, canvases. Deborah Bilo. Deborah Bilo. I know I only wrote part of it. Is she here? Is Deborah here? Nope. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so you'll tell you'll... everybody. Sorry, I just wanted to tell you sorry about that. Oh, okay. Well, we gave I, away I the painting, I so the whole system with my foot, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> but... I don't see Deborah here. See you later. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, I'm going to make it up to her and give her a canvas, but we still have one more canvas to give. So. Yasmin. Yasmin, are you here? Yasmin? Yasmin? I don't see her. Okay. Mm. Well, you know, at the end, this is this is why we do it also at the mid at the middle, midway, because okay, here. Yeah, everybody starts oh, bailing. There's a lot of things going on right now until nine o'clock, you know. And it's my bed. Is Lois here? She was here up until a minute ago. I don't see her. Okay. All right, Lois. It was nice to see you earlier, though. It was really. Uh, Lois left too. Yeah, but there. See, at seven o'clock we were supposed to end, and there were so many other things going uh, on. You're right. I couldn't help myself. Michelle Carlin, or whoa. Michelle's here. I'm here. We're, Can we're you also, hear me? Yeah. Um, put your um, name in the chat, and actually your phone number too. And then we'll figure out how to how to get this to you. It, to Sharon or Michelle? I've got, yeah, I've got Michelle's contact info. She's okay. a member. Okay, okay. great. Thank because you. what we might do is I think I'll probably just drop it off the mm -hmm. canvas because you won the canvas. Ooh, big 16 by 20 canvas, blank. Um, we'll, I'll drop it off to the harbor. Is that sound good? Um, is that what you want, Sharon? Um, only because the harbor now is going to be open more days than I will at the Bell Arts Factory. Okay. So, so for now we'll put your name on it. Uh, Michelle, congratulations. So thanks everybody. Um, Thank we can you. do some painting or what do you think? Because Joe, it's up to you. We're, we're I'll be in touch. Yeah. So click, click on that link. There's a link that says um, artsventura.org and there's all kinds of, in fact, on my page, Michelle Nasco, I have a virtual gallery. You can go and see a bunch of drawings uh, that I did and, and Sarah Flesher painted a bunch of abstracts, really cool. But you can actually move around in the gallery, go see it. 
So what do you think, Joe? Joe, uh, yeah. Joe who? <laughs> Joe, I'm sorry. Yeah, Joe Sigari. Yeah. Would you like to go on painting or you, uh, you want to? Um... No, I have to. You know what today is. I'm, oh I'm... my gosh, that's right. We've got to sing ha happy anniversary. No, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I just wanted to thank everybody for showing up and I hope you had some fun. I hope you had some questions. If you have any questions about uh, classes or workshops, uh, I put my information in the chat. Phone. And we're going, we're going to post this um, on YouTube. The, the, um, in fact, I'm going to stop that. Yes. Okay. And also uh, I'll post these. I'll take shots of these in the morning and uh, put them in cluster. Okay, cool. Oh, we did. All right, wonderful. And then if anybody else wants to put their things in cluster, um, that'll all be you good. have to do to save them and you can, if you're in cluster, just pull them to your desktop and you can distribute other ways. Okay. Yeah, I just okay. tried to do it. I had no luck at all. It, first thing it wanted me to do was create an account. So I created account and then it let me post my pictures to my account. It said I wasn't authorized to use any other accounts according to my email. So that's well, as I, far as I got. We're saving the chat. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll send an invitation to be on cluster to everybody uh -huh. who is here who put yeah. in the chat. And then yeah, all you need is the invitation. Yeah. So what is it based on your name? No, it, it's based on you're going to get an invitation um, the, called uh, um, BAA. BAA. Yeah. You're going to yes, get. Yes. So um, thank you for that much, folder yeah. only. Okay. Well. So, hey, Don, good to see you. I said that before. He's going to be here in a couple, he'll be our guest in a couple of months. Let's oh, see. Great. October, March, okay. April. April, we're going to do a uh, plein air paint along and um, we're going to do it on Zoom. It'll yeah. be interesting. Yes. Uh, and yeah, Lorna, Lorna, you have your blue filter on. You have, yeah. you have your blue <laughs> filter. You're, you're muted. Lorna, Lorna, you're very I blue. Lorna's blue. <laughs> Lorna, unmute yourself. <laughs> oh, but there you go. Based on where I'm sitting, what you're getting is just the reflected light of the computer. So. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I'm sitting in a dark corner. The blue uh, screen. Oh, oh, it's kind of cool, actually. I got to. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to run. So thanks, everybody. If you have any questions about uh, what we did, now that you have uh, time to think about it, maybe tomorrow or the next day, just email me. And okay. happy Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Joe. We'll, we'll see you all here next month on the first Friday. So, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. And we'll see you all. Good night, everybody. Good night. All right. I'm, I'm just leaving. You guys don't have to leave. But. Okay. Your check's in the mail, Joe. Oh. <laughs> well, it will be, you know. It will be. Okay. It actually will be. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Okay. See ya. And where are you guys going to post it, oh. Michelle? Oh, you know what? Is Joe Osborne, you've got to be the one who stops recording. I started recording earlier and I wasn't able to stop it. Joe, I can't hear you. Hi, Joe? I Where left the building. I know. <laughs> oh, look at my dog. This is this is from my dog. All right, you want me to stop this? Because you're going to have to, I think you're going to have to download it, but I'll stop it. Yeah, it's going to be in the cloud and then uh, uh, share okay. it to get it. Yeah. Ready? Uh, well, no, stop, I... no, 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 stop. Just stop the recording. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Good night, everybody. Oh. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs> Good night. Good night.